What's up, folks? Samurai King 8 is here today to talk about the greatness that came out today. One Piece Chapter 743 Dress Rosa Quakes. And boy, did it fucking quake. It shook like Beyonce's fat ass. <laughs> oh my god, this chapter. Oda, you outdone yourself with this bad boy. This chapter is so vast and so great. I decided to do kind of like a read along review where I will read along with the chapter in the chapter and then uh, give you guys my thoughts as I go throughout the chapter, like that. You know how you do in grade school, man. So, you know, we all got to gather around. Come on, kids, sit down. Uh, stop picking your nose, Billy. Sit down, get this work, get this chapter greatness right here. And you know it's going to be good. You got. Well, I think she's sexy. People don't think she look all that good. But Vivi, Princess Vivi fine ass, is there playing tennis. Look at this tennis outfit. Good lord of my. Uh, um, the website I use to read my manga is uh, kissmanga.com. This great, 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 props, great website. They get the translations just right. Like, you, you don't feel like you're missing stuff like they even said that people they even have people names spelled correctly oh we start off with Usopp's and sugar screams to the top of their lungs Woo! all the toys looking like oh whoa and i i i'm about to odd too what the hell's going on right here with this with, well we're all reading first we'll start reading it what the hell is that right there why is that toy getting stumped on who the fuck is doing it <laughs> i i don't know that is odd to me and then, oh my God, Sugar, Sugar getting her little, got her little ass knocked the fuck out. She got scared shitless. How you get that scared? You foam, you foaming at the damn mouth. And fucking Trables, Trables, fucking reaction, boy. Look at that nigga. He like, oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> sugar. And Usopp is dead. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Usopp basically is dead, and we got the sex in this Robin's back, baby, with the sexy body. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And then we slowly see all the toys get turned back into their uh, original forms, which is great. And some, this means some shit about to go down. <laughs> look, I mean, look, look who got who came back. Well, you know, most of the guys are people who lost in the uh, Coliseum and all that. But we got Cavendish, Don Xinjiao, Chen Zhao, sorry about that. The two big dudes, I forgot the name. And uh, everybody was like, oh my god, the toys! They're back to human! And they're crying, like, oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, we're back humans. Now, we're not gonna give a fuck about you, Uso Land. Uso Land, we're not gonna give a fuck about you no more. We're gonna run off and do our own damn thing. I, 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 I don't know, maybe Uso. <laughs> I, when I was reading this, I was thinking some crazy shit. I was like, man, what if Uso fucking, uh, what if they looked at him as a damn captain? And they say, oh, oh you know what, Uso, we want you to be our captain. We want you to be the pirate of the, the captain of the Uso Land Pirates. And Uso like, you know what? Yeah, I did that shit. Yeah, let's go. Nah, nah. Uso ain't gonna do that. Nah, nah, nah. He too. He ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna do that. And Trebo crying to uh, Do Flamingo. Oh, I'm sorry, Do Flamingo. I messed up bad. Sugar just passed out. Oh my god. And Do Flamingo's face. You talk about being pissed. Talk about being pissed. This better not be a sick joke. This better not be no joke, motherfucker. You know. Oh, I'll check out this song. Uh, you, you know, if this bitch is knocked out. I'm sorry. I'm going to call a little girl a bitch. But if this chick. Where's well, your little girl? But what's the age? Fuck. If this chick is knocked out, you know I'm fucked. I'm an Iron, I'm an Iron Man shirt. I, I just looked at myself. Iron Man shirt. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if this little chick is knocked out, I'm fucked, right? You know that shit, right? <laughs> and you better be joking about this shit, bro. <laughs> Oh man, and now we get, we move to the to the city, and all of the fucking toys are turning back to humans. Everybody was like, "Oh my God, what's going on? My memories are coming back. The the Hobo Hobo curse has been fucking. I was like, Hobo Hobo curse has been lifted. We were, we started around right now. Hey, we need to go get that boy Del Flamingo. He's a bitch. That's right. Yeah, he fucked us over. <laughs> it was funny that these dudes they about to solve a revolt. They about to riot. They about to throw a fucking riot. And dress rose. See people, people uh, crying like, "Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot about you." And 
uh, towards the, towards coming humans and all that good jazz. And uh, <laughs> it was funny because I didn't think that. Well, I should have known this. I think she. I think they said that um, sugar could turn any living organism into a toy. I think the way I saw somewhere. Somewhere I saw that. Oh, oh man, I'm getting confused with somebody. Somebody. Else. I might be getting her confused with Gladius when he's talking about that or inorganic thing he is. But uh, inorganic thing, he blew up everything that's inorganic. But um, uh, a gorilla. I mean, she turned a she turned a, a big ass gorilla into a toy. I'm like, what? She turned that big ass gorilla into a toy. I'm like, what? What? So I, she turned animals. I guess any living thing into toys. Cause as, as we can see with the ton titles, but they. I don't know what the fuck they are. I guess I guess they can be they can be considered humans. It's really dwarf is like tiny humans, but uh it was crazy. And uh some of the Royal Plat Palace, uh Harbor Worker toys. That's how they turned back into pirates and they fucking uh starting to riot in the east. And let's see the toys. Yeah, 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 we getting all this. And the beast under the the royal palace. He's saying the royal palace, royal palace. So every, so all the toys, all, everything that been turned to a toy is going towards the royal palace. They about to fucking go ape shit at the royal palace, and um, and now somebody called. I, I don't know who called. I, oh, okay, I see that. It, it was a guy in the back uh, that called the marines. Said we need some reinforcements, and you see, we see Pujatore and the other guy. Um, they talking said, ah. Oh. The pirates are running out. Wow. Ugh. Now, if this motherfucker gets started, the city shut it down. If Bruce Toy gets started, shut the shut the shit down. Shut it down, bro. He said a meteor like fucking uh Madara. What? He said a, a flaming fucking meteor like Madara. Ov. It's over. Just sit, cut this shit out. Y'all y'all be happy y'all back humans because y'all dead. If y'all go back to the world palace and this motherfucker there throwing fucking meteors like they fucking toys. <laughs> so then we see uh Frankie. Yeah, I gotta get props to Frankie, boy. He was like, he was laughing. I was like, there you go, Frankie. You can rest easy, boy. Usopp. Ugh. I know everybody hated on how Usopp did it, but fuck. Usopp got the damn job done. He made the ugliest face ever. He pulled a, a Yu Yu Hakusho Karama ugly ass face. You remember when Karama made that face because that dude with the, with the, uh, um, his classmate from school? And uh, you know, you know, they couldn't fight in that room, so he made that face to make him laugh and uh, to use up all the syllables, all the letters and stuff, so he would win the game and all that shit. So uh, that was Usa pull, Usa pull something like that. And Karama is a smart ass player, so I mean, smart ass player. So maybe Usa, maybe Usa said, okay, look, I'm gonna scare this little girl and make her faint. Maybe that's what his thought was, cause he fainted from fear before, I think. Uh, well, he been fucked up so much, I doubt it. But um, so we see, um. Senior Pink and that um and that fucking uh transvestite and uh, that and that big motherfucker who was weak as hell uh and, and it was kind of it's it's nice to see a breath of fresh air kind of like with villains not being so evil they just uh like like they feel for their comrades well, it's just cool I mean like you, we, we, you know, well depending on who you fight in the war if you kill somebody be like hey you killed my partner I'm gonna kill you and all that stuff so, so I mean it's nice to see villains now. Give him the fuck about their subordinates and all that shit. Or maybe, maybe he don't even see them as subordinates. Maybe he see them as his crewmates. Maybe he see them like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we see Sam Pink. He's like, I hope, um, um, Sugar's not badly injured. Which is cool. I'm like, I'm like, hey, Sam Pink, you are actually a good dude. You are not evil as I thought. You're not this badass evil motherfucker. And my motherfucking nigga, Zoro, badass picture right there. Pika has fucking, um, Vanished, and you see the fucking. Oh, shit, let me just leave it up there for a minute. <laughs> and we see the fucking uh, hallway is like warped looking. It's like warped looking, which is crazy. And you're like, what the hell is this motherfucking wind? So maybe some some people saying some some odd things. I I would say after. Okay, I would say after I get through the do the chapter chapter before I say why I think um, uh, Pika is doing because I doubt everybody, what everybody say. I'm like that shit sounds stupid, but um. <laughs> Uh, Robin fine ass, telling the Usopp to hang on and all that good jazz. And uh, she said, We did it. Operation SOP SOP was success. And so Sugar knocked the fuck out again. All the toys have turned back to their former selves, which is gonna be some OP shit happening soon. I mean, Pitch Dun, Dun Chin Jow fucking just coming in, bam, 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 getting out that motherfucker. Oh my god. He, maybe they asked him, he'll probably tear up the damn factory. Maybe. 
But since he know that that straw hat passed, I hope hopefully he ain't gonna do the bu bullshit. So, uh, and you know the fucking uh, <laughs> sometimes they they going they they crying they bawling. I can't believe he took all the uh, all the injuries for all. I, I ain't know what the fuck that was. I, what does this mean? It, was that because they were crying and they talking like that? Because I'm like, what the fuck? All for door sake. All for our sake. Yeah, all for our sake. I think that's what they talk. I don't know. I can't remember. And then, uh, cause see, uh, Leo is talking straight. He's talking to say we should build a bronze, a bronze uh, statue of him. And uh, that dude, I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, he said, Buzz, you are, you are right without a doubt. I guess is what he's saying. And um, that was like. And then I said, he's our hero. Oh, my God. They, oh, I didn't even see that when I first read it. Usa gave him a thumbs up. Usa gave him a thumbs up. Say everything went according to plan. Like hell it did, nigga. <laughs> like hell it did, dude. You got your ass whooped. The series is so cool. My friend, he said, my friend, take care of the rest. The real fight started now. Oh, yeah, Usa. You know, my nigga. The real fight does start now. I might, I might have that to be the title. The real fight starts now. There we go. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, that, that's gonna be the title for this. Real fight starts now. Usopp, great words. And uh, they're saying, please respond, Rose has Young Master, uh, emergency reports won't stop coming in, all that good shit. And uh, they won't fucking, they won't his ass. Dress Rosa is in panic. They won't Dolph Mingo's ass. And now we, we see the Toys Soldier's gone. And, uh, Luffy, see, I forgot about this. Uh, Luffy didn't know, didn't know the toys were once human. He didn't know that shit. So I, 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 I'm forgetting that, and I, I got kind of upset. Uh, excuse me, I got kind of upset when um, Violet Fine Ass was explaining what what was happening, like uh, like basically all of everything. So I was like, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that too much, but <clears throat> for Luffy's sake, he needed that. So now he understands what's going on, and he was like, oh. So that toy soldier guy, he was um, the legendary Kamo, and she's like, yeah. And uh, that that was odd to me. But for one, how the hell the Kamo move so goddamn fast? He was not only was he sitting down beside Luffy, he got turned back into his big ass self, jumped up and started hopping toward, I guess hopping or maybe he maybe he can glide or some shit. Uh, he glide or some shit to um. Dolphamingo, which I didn't understand. Like, how the hell is he doing moves so goddamn fast? And you know, Valentine, that's my brother and all that shit. No, no, that's my brother in law and all that shit. Well, not really anymore since her sister dead. But, um, but yeah. Uh, Luffy, yeah, like I said, for Luffy finds out that who he is and all that shit. And, um, Violet was like, oh my god, she's so goddamn fine. <laughs> she's so damn fine. Look how fine she is right there. She's like, uh, he been. Talking to um, he been keeping keeping he been by uh, Rebecca's side this whole time, not a good jazz. So uh, everybody, oh yeah, yeah, they, they, some people know who the hell um, Kairos was. Now it was odd to me. Law seems to be kind of shocked. He was like, wait a minute, I, know, I think I know you. Like, like, like Law didn't say anything. He just looked, and he was like, oh, and all that shit, and uh. Ken Ruku, he jumps and said, you're K-Rolls, aren't you? And he's like, yes. And he's like, my homes apology. I'm sorry I made you late, wait 10 year, long years and that shit. Then, then the most bad ass, well, one of the most bad ass things. One of the most. Uh, bad ass saying in the in the chapter, k chops off Dolphin Mingles. Hey, what? <laughs> he chops off this motherfucker's head. Like it wasn't nothing. Like butter. Like cutting through butter. Like cutting through Fucking butter, bruh. Like butter. Cutting through butter. Samurai. I love this shit. I love anything with a sword and chop a motherfucker up. So. And it could happen to a nice guy. Definitely go. So. Yeah. But. I doubt this motherfucker can die that damn easily. Because I mean, you see when he gets his head chopped off. Nothing comes out. No blood. Anything comes out. I mean, if a motherfucker in One Piece gets chest cut. <laughs> and blood chops out, comes out like a lot. How the hell is he gonna get his head cut off and not a damn thing coming out? So, um, and, uh, so, um, we see the soldiers, they come, they're rushing at Luffy and, uh, Violet. And, um, 
Luffy gets to hug up on that fine ass Violet, which uh, I, I know you everyone really wouldn't have thought, but uh, yeah, no, that shit. Uh, and he says the true dress Rosa has a turn. K. Rosa says that, which is great scene. That's great. That's another great scene. He he popped out two of the best scenes in the, in the arc. I mean, it's not an arc in the chapter, but the best one. The best one's coming up, guys. It's coming up. <laughs> it's coming up, bro. Just wait. Okay, we go back to the Coliseum. And uh, Rebecca, she's like, oh, I just remember I have a father. She's still fucking balling. I'm like, come on, Rebecca. You need to not man up, but you are a gladiator. You are a warrior. You need to kind of get your shit together. I mean, Bob Thaw Manuel was saying, look, stop being there cry, baby. Wait, come on. <laughs> stop bitching. Come on. And, uh... And then we get uh, Sabo, Sabo, Luffy Senpai, whoever it's supposed to be. He need to get revealed soon. That's, that's not that. That's another little problem I have with this chapter. He need to get his ass reviewed. Uh, not reviewed, sorry. Reveal. I'm saying review. <laughs> reveal soon. Reveal, bro. Reveal him. Oh, uh, oh, do we know who the fuck this is? So come on, come on, man. Anyway, no. And say uh, Sabo said it would seem you've been this uh, conscious puppet, Rebecca. Everything surely has a course. Now you're spouting nonsense to Great Senpai. That was Bartholomew said that. Now, uh, then, 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 Sabo, first thing first. Let's finish this match. Then he fucking hockey both hands up, punched the damn ground, and says, Dragon Claw Fist. Now, I, I can't, I don't know the Japanese, I can't. Say how it, how it is. I'm pretty sure he would say badass. So I was like, I can't wait for this shit to get animated. This part right here to get animated quickly. Come on, animate. Catch up. It is moving pretty fast right now, but come on, animate. I need this shit. I need to see this shit animated. And uh, he fucking punches the ground. And drag. I guess I guess the name of the move is dragon claw, claw ah, dragon claw fist and he punched the ground he says dragon's breath and when he says dragon's breath holy shit holy shit what the fuck he destroyed the whole battlefield you are a bad motherfucker if you can destroy the entire battlefield and uh koala she was like hacking all that shit. So, so she see um hacking all them. I'm trying to see how I'm trying. I'm like, let me look and see. Cause I mean, you know you you got uh, before, before I do this, Sabo. You know you a strong motherfucker. If you got fucking uh, let me let me zoom in face in. You got fucking Burgess, Jesus Burgess, the Mister Mister <laughs> Mister Happy Store. Mister Happy Store is fucking like the ground. What the fuck? You got this motherfucker shit. You a strong motherfucker. And. Let me see what else. You bastard, okay. I'm trying to see. Because I'm trying to see, how did Koala see Heck? Oh, okay, now I see. Okay, okay, okay. Now I see. That gorilla. When the, okay, okay, okay. That gorilla popped up. Okay, okay, now I remember now. Okay, now I'm saying that. So I'm trying to figure out where, she, where, where, she, where you see Heck at, Koala. She must have got fish man fucking uh, sight uh, vision or some shit. But uh, it was crazy. Crazy chapter, man. That's the end of the chapter right there. With Sabo in the chapter off. So... Let me make sure. Okay. I'm making sure. Uh, I, had, I had to make sure at the end of each chapter, I don't see, oh, we'll be off next week. I'm like, oh, no, I don't do it like this. But they're not off next week. We'll be a chapter next week. It says one crazy thing after another. Great fucking chapter. A plus, 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 plus. Not cross. Plus, plus, plus. Great chapter, man. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about a few things that people were talking about online. I was seeing people talk about earlier. Um, they they think when Dolphin got his head chopped off, that um, Law did the shambles and and uh, made it so uh, Dolphin wouldn't die. So I was like, mm, why why he why would he do that? If he, if he if he's uh if he did do that because uh I mean it could be a number of things why Dolphin's head got chopped off. He not dead because for one, I mean he definitely can't die that damn easy because. I don't know if if Kairos has hockey. Maybe he does have hockey. I don't know. We didn't see it, but maybe he does have hockey. I don't know. But he, you still wouldn't be able to just chop him up a head off just, just that easily. Not, not the nigga who made not Dopamigo who made smoking his bitch. That Dopamigo. Who was a fuck up smoker? We didn't know smoker was all smoker was already fucked up before. But still, 
it's just funny to me how it did happen. So I'm thinking it, it, it did two things. Either Law did shambles and made it so his head would be cut off, he wouldn't die. Or um, Doflamingo, you know, it's, she has a strength strength from all that shit. Maybe uh, you have to hit a certain cord to kill him or make him uh, his body uh, be dismembered. Something like that. Maybe something like that happened. But um, I don't know. I, 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 for life, me, I just don't know. I just can't really just say what happened there. And nothing. I, I want to talk about this chapter. That was pretty, it was heavy tripping. Oh, wait a minute. Carrie, not only did Carrie was jump up and just basically skywalk to fucking um, um, Don Flamingo, he fucking, his leg is not bleeding. So I'm like, I'm like, how, why is his leg not bleeding? Look like his leg got cut off, then he got turned to a toy. So maybe we got turned to a toy. He, um, he, um, maybe it healed itself and it, it just closed off. So maybe, I don't know. So that's why I'm saying it's nothing that when it get animated, I want to see how they animate it. Because see, they may have it cut off and then at the bottom of it, it just be some more skin down there as opposed to being just guts and blood and shit coming out. Bones and shit. So, uh, that'd be very interesting to see. Cause, I mean, I'm looking at it. His fucking leg is cut off above the damn knee. I mean, shit. Like, halfway up his damn thigh. Like, shit. Your leg cut off that damn high? God damn. But, um, uh, that's pretty much the only things that I just seen the shot that's worth just, just, just theory and shit talking about. Because I'm like, dude. Um, what's going on? <laughs> like, how's this motherfucker head cut off and this motherfucker leg is not reacting to it, not, not believing anything? So, and then we do see that Kairos, so it was true, everybody was saying, uh, that when you turn to a toy and no matter how much time has passed, um, you will, you still will retain when you return to a toy. Which, it makes sense. It makes sense. It did. I mean, it'll be hard to age people like that. I mean, if you're not age, the thing about it, you turn to a toy, your age and stops. Toys don't age that much. They just they they um uh deteriorate, but they don't get I mean over a long period of time if they're not being used and stuff, or if they are being overused, they'll deteriorate, they'll destroy them, they'll get destroyed, something like that. So uh um So it, it makes sense to why the aging process stopped when she when he got turned to a toy and everybody else too. So it makes sense. And and it, it's it's a fucked up shit that's going on in this damn country. Ten years of torture, not torture. Ten years of turning people into toys. Well, it is torture. Ten years of turning people into toys, basically killing them off. Because it, I mean, think about it. Think about it. You just turn to a toy, and everybody forgets you. That you basically dead. I mean, it. I mean, fuck it. Every, all the memories of you have completely complete been erased. You are never existed. I mean, you've never been. You never existed to some people. Like I mean, think about it. Like if my dad got turned to a toy. And I've been on my dad all um, 20 of my fucking life, all 20 years of my life. He gets turned to a toy right now, I forget him. I won't know none of them. Everything I remember would be, like, I'll be in the car. I mean, I'll think of somebody else. I mean, I think it's my stepdad or my mom, something like that. So that's crazy thing. That's crazy. You, you forget your loved ones, and like, like they never existed. Like, I mean, it's one thing to they die, and um, you knew of them, and you just thought they disappeared, something like that. But it's another thing to they, they never existed. That's just sad. Really sad. The feel. One piece feel in this arc. This arc is great. You know what I'm saying this arc needs to hurry up and and just and just get animated to where we are right now. This shit looks amazing, amazing. So I'm just talking now. So let let me just go ahead and just fucking end this video because this shit is amazing. I can't wait till next week, bruh, man. Cause I I mean, shit. I can go on on about One Piece. This shit looks amazing, and I'm kind of sad too. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I almost forgot about. It. Uh, Pika. Let me tell you what I think Pika doing. Now, some people think that maybe Pika can turn stone into copies of people. People, I'm sorry, clones of people. And maybe when K Rose cut Dopamine's head off, he cut off a stone clone. But I'm like, I don't know if I'm saying. It, well, it somewhat kind of does, but I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I kind of doubt that. So, because Pika did just disappear. So, um, what I think Pika doing, Pika probably know that. Two things happened. Either Pika um, was kind of tricked into joining Doflamingo's crew, and um, because of Sugar did something, like he turned somebody close him into a toy who didn't want him to be a pirate, and he ended up becoming a pirate anyway uh, because he didn't know that person. And he just thought, thought well, what the fuck? I, I want to be a pirate and be a pirate now. I don't have nothing to stop me from being a pirate. Or maybe, um, or maybe. What I think this, what, this is what I kind of think was going on with Pika. He went to the outside of the Coliseum 
to con not Constantine, uh, the royal palace to stop everybody from riding and coming in. So maybe he's gonna make like a big stone wall, like uh, he'll make a big uh, like Gara from um from Naruto. He gonna make a big fucking um a uh, uh, stone circle circular uh, shield thing. So uh, maybe maybe doing that around the palace, so we don't else be able to come in and fuck up shit. I hope that's not the case. Well, I gotta do yeah, what yeah, that, yeah that'd be alright if that happened because uh. Zoro is in the palace, so he, he, if shit happened with Luffy and Cairo, Zoro can go over there and help him out. Because he, Zoro wasn't really doing too much against Pika, really. I mean, all he was doing is chop, chopping up shit that he was throwing at him. So, where Pika is, I don't know. Pika could be still there with Zoro trying to fight Zoro. Maybe Pika is, maybe Zoro hit like a, hit some vital to him and made him fucking disappear. And like, oh shit. And, and like, Cairo, I mean, I can't write. Maybe Pika like got into the wall and to get away, so he wouldn't die. So that's what he did. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Possibilities, possibilities is great. So Oda, keep doing this great shit. Japan, keep doing the great stuff. Look, we love, look, Japan, spread this, spread the anime manga love to everybody in the country, in the world, man. We love this shit. So that's the end of the video, guys. Um, like I said before, the best translation I read is on kissmanga.com. Uh, I probably won't put a link. I probably won't put a link in the description, but uh, uh yeah, that's the end of the video. That's the end of my. Real long review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like that bitch if you love it. Um, comment, subscribe, share the video so your friends and partners can see this shit and be like, this dude know what he fucking talking about. He's a great reviewer, and I want to get him up there with the ranks of the of the upper echelon anime community guys. So, Samurai King Eight is signing off. See you next week.